Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, specifically from the perspective of who is he running this election against. Uh, so Vivek Ramaswamy is a he is a very epic um, 2024 U.S. presidential Republican challenger, and he is specifically challenging right now Donald Trump because the the in, the president President Donald Trump trying to be respectful. He earned that title. He deserves it. I'm trying to give him his flowers when I can, right? Because um, he's, he's made many mistakes, but he held the presidency, right? He was my president. He was your president. He was king of the world. That's what pre- that's what the U.S. president is, king of the world. Make no mistake, right? Um, and we don't, we've never seen a queen of the world because uh, um, a woman has never reached that height yet, right? Nikki Haley's trying to change that. She interesting lady. Um, but I think Vivek Ramaswamy is, is the real deal. I think he could take it all the way, right? But right now we need to talk about this because there's, there's two, there's two possibilities that, uh, he has to 100% lock in. Uh, there's two races. Okay. There's the, um, there's, there's the dropout, there's the Trump race and there's the dropout race. If Donald Trump is alive and running, Right. Actually, if he is simply running, right, when we reach uh, November of 2024, uh, it's a whole different, you know. It, 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 oh, yeah. If Donald Trump is running as a U.S. presidential uh, candidate in November of 2024, every single person who's running against them has a one. Uh, actually, these people specifically DeSantis, Tim Scott, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy. That's it. Oh, and, and Ron, if I, did I say Ron DeSantis? R- Ron DeSantis and Ron DeSantis. Those five people have a one to five percent chance of beating Donald Trump if he's actually running in 2024. Now, in order to run, okay, he needs to he needs to overcome a few things. The first thing he needs to do is he needs to be alive, right? And there is a very real threat to that, and that is his age, right? Now, uh, you and I know about Pee Wee Herman wonderful gentleman. He is a really nice, I, I very much enjoyed his, uh, his comedy and uh, his art. He was a, he was a true American. I really like him a lot. He died at 70 this, this week. And the reality is Pee Wee Herman is a perfect example of Donald Trump and when a person would die from age, right? They had the same life. Okay. They had the same habits in my opinion right? There are certain habits which will lower your probability of, of living to a ripe, uh, a ripe old age. I'm, I'm incredibly blessed. I, I go to an evangelical church routinely. We see uh, uh, parishioners, right, congregants who reach 80, 90, 100 years old. But that's clean living, baby. And I can tell you right now, uh, Don, President Donald Trump cannot spell clean living, right? He had exactly the habits of... Um, of Pee Wee Herman. And what were Pee Wee Herman's habits? Hollywood habits, right? Now, the reality is Donald Trump's were slightly different. He had New York billionaire habits, but those are functionally the same as Hollywood habits, right? And so, you know, so basically, Pee Wee Herman died at 70, right? And he died from the, the life choices he made at, and you can't say a ripe old age, at an average age, right? But the reality is Donald Trump is in a different situation, Right? He is in a situation where he is going into immense stress, right? So one, we already know that running for president can give you a heart attack. How do we know that? Because it's on the record. uh, Because Bernie Sanders said it flat out. He was like, I was under intense pressure. I was running like, you know, I was running like a chicken with its head cut off. And I wasn't watching my body and I paid the price, right? And and he said flat out, right, that the presidential uh, race gave him a heart attack, right? So, now the reality is he uh, Bernie Sanders actually Donald Trump has President Donald Trump has the same issue uh, Bernie Sanders does uh, slightly different right so what so one the pressures of the the pressures of running are real you've got to be up and at them you've got to constantly be making calls to donors you got to be traveling all the time you have to be eating travel food right it's it's hard it's very you know you have to give speeches you have to remember that is an incredible amount of strain on an 80 year old person right and that's exactly what donald trump will be he'll be another 80 year old president right 
And so this is, you know, this, this is a huge amount of strain on an octogenarian, right? And it could literally, it could kill him, right? Like, the reality is, I really think he should pull out of the race for the sake of his family. So that his family can be with him, so they can show him love and kindness, right? And he can live a life of love and kindness, right? Uh, 80 is in a retirement age, and he should retire, right? Like, it's, it's that simple, right? But Vivek needs to fully understand it, right? That he can never drop out of the race. And the reason why, not ever, not after, not if he gets crushed in Super Tuesday or any of that. What he really needs to understand critically, critically, right, is that everyone in this race is waiting for the day where President Donald Trump realizes, oh, I'm 80, I should be retired, right, and drops out of the race. Or when exactly what happened to Pee Wee Herman, and absolutely no one was surprised, he simply passed from the habits he had, he had picked up at an at an appropriate age when you would pass, right? And so there's a very distinct possibility that what we saw with Bernie Bernie uh, Bernie Sanders will 100% happen with Donald Trump, and it will and this run could break him, right? Like it just literally put him out of the race because he's not present on Earth to continue to run, right? Not, not in not in uh, body, mind, and spirit, right? Like, his body will be here, but his mind and spirit will no longer be here, and that would stop him from running, right? Like, um, yeah, right? So so Vivek needs to understand there's two races. There's the Trump race, and, it, and if, if it goes to that, he has a 1% to 5% chance, just like everybody else I listed. But if, if Donald Trump, if President Donald Trump is out, there is a moment of chaos that Vivek can seize, and he should have plans for that moment, because the probability of that moment are extremely high, extremely high. We know this from Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders flat out said, like, he just, you know, he showed the world, running for president, for American president, as a septuagenarian or an octogenarian, it can absolutely, without exception, easily kill you, right? Like, so that that's a very real thing. Every single word, that's my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear yours.